Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods, and we are doing the monthly map spread for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guys, please remember these are general readings. Times fluid and energies can be reversed, so please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you're here for the first time, welcome aboard. Welcome to my channel. And if you've been kind enough to come back, thank you so very much, guys. Welcome back. Gemini is a couple of more shuffles and we should be ready. Guys, mentally spread is more like looking into all the energies that pop up and see how they're interacting with each other. So not really focusing on just love or just career. We are looking into everything. So let's see. Ooh, cards want to talk. Something from the past popping up. Six of waters or is it energetically just in your head? Are you into nostalgic mode or is it like, you know, somehow everything around is reminding you of something or someone from the past? Like some song coming on the radio, some old friends connecting with you, some old photographs popping up on Facebook memory. God only knows whatever. These days media has a lot of ways to remind you of the past. There is some energy from the past coming in, okay? 6-6. Six, six. We have you trying to somehow find peace in the past. Ace of air. That is Ace of Swords. That is, you should be getting some kind of clarity. Why are you trying to go and live in the past is what my question is that is popping up. Why are you trying to find peace in the past? Because it's gone. So the peace that you are trying to find or seek at this point in time is either in the present right now or you working for it so that you can you know achieve it in future so going in the past is not going to help we need to be somehow clear about that are we being clear about that we need to really get a certain things into perspective here wheel of fortune energies are moving uh, are you moving along with the energy is my question. It just feels like it's like, oh, good old days. And what well, the good old days are now in the past, but you just want to go back and uh, relive them in some way. So you are not only fooling yourself by doing that, but also missing the present right now. And the point altogether, that's what I wanted to say. You're missing the point that it's all gone. Even if it was like, you know, the best time of your life. I mean, make the most out of what you have right now. Gemini's, what's going on? Hmm. Three of waters. Yeah, it's the good times. As I said, the good old days feeling that you are getting going back in the past. You do realize that it's just in your head that you are doing it. It's not really happening. The fun times that you had with your people, the connection and all of that. Probably there is some connection that has popped up right now. And uh, you don't know what to do with that. It, there is some sort of confusion or not having the right, you know, perspective in place. Okay, what is this? High Priestess, look, with the changing times, we, in some ways, I feel we have not changed and it is time for us to connect with our higher self and really get a grip on ourselves, I feel. Tree of waters, the sun, look. It's just taking me again and again to remembering the good old times. The good old times. 
the good old times have moved on. You gotta move on with that, Geminis. The sun is not giving me the sense of the now, but of that six of water of the past. Eight of waters. Look, there's something that we gotta move on from. You cannot live in the past. Page of fire. This is that regained perspective right here dealing with your emotions the sun and the moon showing up there's a lot that you are looking for in the past ignoring what you need to look into actually that is your emotions what do we have messenger of air look this is what i'm talking about this is exactly what i'm talking about face your truth confront your right now confront your present times there's no point running back in the past you would not be able to do that there's no time travel happening here only in your head loves not in the 3d only in your head one more please to close this energy circle one more for my gemini spirit you need to really face your present don't run away from it there's no point running away from it you're just running away from yourself and you're trying to find comfort i hear in the past once you go through this rather difficult confronting your present and your emotions messenger of water coming in this is confronting your emotions right there this is also respecting your own feelings running away from your own feelings is in some ways disrespecting your own self people how you felt how you feel how things are right now how long can you fool yourself look ten of waters there's a lot of emotional energy here with the moon and the ten of waters in the ten of waters again giving me that good old days good old times feeling this ten of waters does not feel in the present or in the future it's like in the past and after that you had to go back in a new cycle which is the ace of air which was very very objective and very you know practical i don't know whether you want to do that let us clarify peeps there is very intense emotional current that i feel but it seems like it's there, you, but you do not want to acknowledge it, even if you are feeling it, and you are feeling it quite strongly, actually. Okay, we are ready. Six of water, spirit. Why do we have the six of waters, this energy from the past right now? Why are my Geminis feeling the way they are feeling look we have hermit you definitely have put yourself in a corner in your head consumed by everything that has happened in the past very much living in the past you know dissecting i hear things events incidents who said what how it was right now moving forward is the issue because you are a little scared i feel the the snake on the path to move forward is your fears of losing something along the way that's not letting you move forward you're so focused on this obstacle probably it's not even an obstacle is just something to deal with which we are not and that's the reason we are stuck stuck in the past 
six of air four of pentacles look holding these memories too close to your heart too dear to let go of the fear of you know letting go that's the reason you are going back and trying to find peace you are at the crossroads there is no going back there is only moving forward but you are not taking that call of moving forward and we need to gain some perspective here we need to face our fears here we need to face our reality our truth our now our present is of air spirit three of pentacles why we need to face all of that is because whatever this new phase is that is clearly not something that you are enjoying that's why you are trying to find soleil in the past well we need to work through things you need to put in some hard work it's not an easy beginning I always say something in the beginning you are finding it really really hard and rather than facing that you are escaping in the comfort of the past and that is not really going to help. Three of waters. We got to learn people. Now this could be you trying to, you know, reach out to somebody who's elder to you, somebody like a therapist that you're trying to deal with this whatever past energy. This could also be someone that not necessarily has to be elder but somebody who you think is quite wise and that comes along with the three of waters that is community so reach out reach out and connect with those whom you can trust and you can talk to and you think is going to be wise enough and trustworthy enough for you to open up and wise enough to give you a very objective advice not what you want to hear but what you need to hear kind of a thing wheel of fortune the moving energy ten of pentacles look as i felt you know this ten of waters in the past and that's the reason you want to go and see oh how wonderful that is things have moved on from that ten of pentacles ten of waters maybe it's a hard reset that is happening for a few of you and you're finding it difficult to deal with the hard work that's coming along because so far things have been so chill pill in some ways you know you reached a point where you could just relax and you know the autopilot was on and now you have to switch from autopilot to manual handling that is kind of getting difficult the sun the sun please clarify the sun spirit why do we have the sun in the spread? Why do we have the sun for oh, my Geminis? Eight of Swords. Look, this is being stuck in the past of that old good times, but it is just in your head. It's just coming again and again and again and again. This message that you guys need to really bring reality into perspective there is a very very intense and urgent sense that i'm getting that we need to have an immediate reality check somebody might come and you know show this in your face kind of a thing it's not going to be pleasant it doesn't feel that it's going to be pleasant if somebody else is going to do that so might as well you reach out and try and figure this shit as like what i need to do and how do i go about this because i keep going back to the past and how wonderful it was and it's difficult for me to now focus on the present because clearly there is a path to choose you are at crossroads which would require a lot of hard work it's a new beginning it's an ace and it's a very clear ace so rather than looking at this new beginning as an obstacle that is not letting you move forward Think of it as an opportunity, a new beginning that can bring in that ten of waters and the ten of pentacles energy back in life. Let's go to the high priestess, our higher self. Look, 
yes i love it thank you so much universe this is 10 of cups showing up this is you realizing you talking about it and you realizing that yes maybe this is at this point in time difficult that hard reset is really really difficult at this point in time but rather than thinking of the past if i now focus on the future and make this choice and put in the hard work i can still get there very much so 10 10 10 10 10 10 people please do look into this angel number there's a message for someone there eight of waters eight of waters what do we need to move away from eight of waters what is it that my gemini's need to leave behind look ace of pentacles that ten of pentacles energy it's gone we are doing a, a hard reset yes it's a new beginning we have two aces and we need to let go of that cycle that has come to an end and focus on this this new one look forward to this new one even if it feels like in the beginning you'll have to put in a lot of effort the page of fire that new perspective coming in Ooh, that's too many that's too many page of fire spirit please clarify page of fire look oh look 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 so beautiful by the way we have six of cups again so we have six 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 that is inner reflection another angel number that you guys should look into there is the, a definite message we have three aces so one 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 you've got three angel numbers to look at one 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 six 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 ten 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 wrapping things up having an inner reflection and moving on and starting something new this is that new start that gaining perspective whatever that is in the past bringing it to a close and having a new start the moon the moon for my gemini's why do we have the moon what is it that we are not trying to look at <laughs> i love it we have the sun and the moon the whole cosmos the cycle the totality we need to look at things from that perspective in totality not just in the past not just in the present not worrying about the future but in totality pull yourself out for a while please and deal with whatever this is that you have not been dealing with there is something really 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 beautiful awaiting you we have beautiful three aces here clarity potential and a lot of passion and love coming in and we have sun twice in your spread whatever this joy whatever this happiness whatever this abundance that has been in the past you can very well achieve it in the present and the future or i should say in the future but at present you need to work for it you need to pull yourself out from the future from the past so you can work in your present to reach to your son in the future messenger of air this was some hard truths to look into five of swords yeah you gotta face that whatever unpleasant energy that's around you gotta face your truth there is a very intense and urgent need to have a reality check and this is having a freaking reality check that is not nice so to say but that will help you face your own emotions and respect yourself and respect what you've gone through once you acknowledge your feelings is when you can deal with them the feeling of being abandoned the feeling of you know not being treated equally or fairly just is coming along with the five of pentacles this is acknowledging these feelings so we can deal with them once we deal once we face once we have that reality check is when we would be able to snap out of this whatever past coma that you have been in and this will require work people you cannot run away from it you cannot you just cannot run away from it 
So if you want these tens to come back in your life, you have these new beginning, the aces. And clearly, patience is needed, work is needed, and confronting and a reality check is definitely needed. That's the first thing needed. Let us wrap up this reading with an oracle guidance message door to romance. Ooh, something new coming up, something new opening up. We have a master number 33, three, another one that you might want to look into. Let us read this for you. This could be for somebody, you know, finding or getting closure from the past relationship new beginnings in love whether you are looking for a new relationship or just more love in the relationship you are in this door with a heart opens on to a new beginning in your experience look we have ace of cups anyhow with the six of cups twice and the ace of cups here came along with the six of cups so this could be very well dealing with your past emotion this could be trying to get closure from a past relationship that had gone sour or is not there anymore in your life but you are going back and trying to find peace there no that is just gonna keep you stuck there so move move on move forward a new love may be arriving and you are being brought together by a strong resonant connection this may be a call from a past life or it may be a new tenderness about to bloom into heartfelt affection the relationship already exists in energetic potential so when this card appears in your spread make sure you are projecting the kind of self-loving energy that you want to receive from others beware that the universe returns your self-caring treatment to you it's ready to open that door are you are you ready for this door to open and if it is open are you ready to walk through this towards this new beginning if you're not get ready my gemini's if you are that's absolutely fantastic a new beautiful beginning is waiting for you all the very best for that if not work through things and this door is open for you anyhow so prepare yourself walk through that go to that new beginning and on that absolutely lovely note i am wishing you all the best and wrapping this up thank you so very much for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods